Hey, what's happening guys? Today's going to be a short video on this uh, little robot car called McQueen, which is made for the BBC micro bit <clears throat> little computer thingy. You can see I have all the parts we need here. Two wheels, battery pack, robot board, computer, and an ultrasonic sensor. Let's take a, a closer look here at the board. All right, so here is our, our little robot car board. And it's uh, not very big. Let me grab a scale here. At its widest point, it is three and a sixteenth inch wide. And at its longest, I don't know, three and a little over three and a half, so almost three inches square. You can see on the back we have the same style connections as the micro bit has, and it has two little motors here. You can see they are geared, it has a power switch, a slot for the micro bit, um, power jack. There's a buzzer. Now here we have uh, headers for the ultrasonic sensor. Then over here we have two other sensors, a header, which we could you know, use for different ones. They don't specify. We have big LEDs here, and we also have smaller blue LEDs up here in the front, which you'll probably be able to see. We have an IR sensor here that you can use for remote control. And then on the bottom, it has one, two, three, four RGB LEDs, line following sensors, and this little rolly wheel. So the assembly of this thing is super simple. You just find the flat and push your wheels on. like that. Um, plug in the power cable and as you can see here it is keyed so you can't do it the wrong way and that's why I think this is probably one of the best learning platforms I've seen for younger kids. Next we can plug in the, the uh, micro bit board. You want the uh, label facing the rear of the, of the uh, robot like that so that your LEDs face front and then you plug in the ultrasonic sensor and we're ready to go other than the code and uh, we're going to use the make block system for the code going to be really simple we're just going to check the sensor, and if something is less than, I don't know, let's say, okay, 30 centimeters away, then uh, we'll have it turn randomly one direction or the other until it clears, and then it'll go straight. Let's go uh, have a look at that. Okay, I know you guys aren't going to believe how simple this programming is for the robot, but here it is. So the first thing we have is this outer block that says forever. So that just means that this code is going to run over and over. No setup, no nothing. Then we come in here and we see sensor unit. We have an if statement. So our entire code for this is simply an if then else. So if the sensor unit sensing in centimeters is less than 35 centimeters and the sensor unit sensing in centimeters does not equal zero then we set item to pick random true or false if item is true <clears throat> excuse me then motor M1 direction clockwise speed 255 
motor M2 direction clockwise speed zero. So what this is doing is saying if this item is true up here, then we're going to turn one wheel and not the other, and that will make us rotate in one way. If the item is false, then we will spin it the other way, and if neither of those are true, then we are simply going to go forward. And that's the entire code. There is simply nothing else to do. It picks random true or false. Boom. That's just saying let's turn one way or let's turn the other way. There's nothing else to it. This is the code. Now, you can over here and uh, translate it into JavaScript, but why would you want to? I know a lot of you guys said you'd rather stick with the Arduino and stuff like that, but I think for, for younger children, grade school age, maybe up to middle school age, something like this is much simpler. Well, you see how easy it is and how nicely this thing runs, so I don't know what else I can say. For younger kids, you know, up to high school age, I can't think of a better way to learn a little bit about programming. I'm not going to learn much electronics here, but maybe a little bit of engineering than by playing with one of these things. I mean, it's just really easy. And the price is good. You know, this board... Uh, the robot's like 20 bucks. So, yeah, it's more expensive than an Arduino, but it's a little bit more. It's better built, let me put it that way. There's a lot more things we can do with this. If you guys are interested, let me know and we will. If not, then that's the end of that. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to DF Robot for sending the, the micro bit and McQueen out to us to play with. That's it. I'm out. Peace.